Hello everyone, this is David from ChessLessons.com going over the game of Scruff MCG or McG versus YoYo12. Um, this game took place about 22 minutes ago in the under 1300-10-0 uh, quick tournament. Rapid Arena, E4, E5. This is a tricky move. A lot of people like to play this in fast chess. Um, the main move over here that you need to remember and basically memorize is Knight to C6 defending this pawn. What Black is hoping for, and the way he's trying to trick you, is that he's hoping that you play g6, followed by queen takes check, and then whenever you try to block this way or this way, he'll take your rook for free. And I've seen other people play moves like queen to f6, which is also inaccurate, because then you have knight to c6 coming, uh, sorry, knight to c3, followed by knight to d5, um, attacking the queen. So you played knight over here, which is not the worst move, but it still drops a pawn and knight to c6 is better. So he took, um, you blocked. So one advantage you have going for you right now is that you can castle and he made one, two queen moves. So you're ahead in development. So you have to use that to your advantage. So this is another horrible move by your opponent. It makes no sense and it serves absolutely no purpose at all. Um, and maybe what you want to do right now is just castle right away or ahead in development. Then you'll play rook e8 opposing the queen, then d5, knight c6, and you'll be winning the game. So instead you played knight to c6 attacking the queen um, generally you don't want to go attacking pieces until you're castled and you're finished developing like this is a nice this is a good move but it's too early right now your number one goal in the opening um, you are down upon so but it's not the end of the world you're ahead in development and they say if you're up three tempos that's equal to a pawn so quickly develop your piece and you see how you attacked his queen but he actually moved his queen to a better square where he's attacking your pawn here. Um, over here, still still not too late. You could castle, um, or you could play a move like d5, cracking open the center, because when the king is in the, in the center, his king is in the center, you want to open lines to his king. But my recommendation, just castle, get out of the way. Okay, you played d6. I'm not sure the purpose of this move. Um... Anytime your opponent makes a move, you want to ask what the purpose of his move was. So hit the purpose of his move was to grab this pawn for free. Bishop to c4. So he kind of delayed grabbing grabbing this pawn. I'm not sure why. He could have just grabbed it right away. But okay, he played bishop c4. You still have a chance to castle here. You don't castle. There's a rule in the opening that says don't move the same piece twice. So you move this piece once, and then you moved it again. So when are we in the opening? We're in the opening before we're castled, and our rooks are staring at each other with no pieces blocking them. So if you went castle, and then these pieces got out of the way, and this rook and this rook is staring at one another, that's when you're out of the opening, and you then you can move the same pieces that you moved prior. But right now, to move this is a little bit premature. It's a little bit too early. Um, your opponent took advantage of that and quickly grabbed the pawn. And here you don't need to panic. You could play uh, a move like rook to f8, protecting this pawn since it's attacked twice. And you still have a playable game. There's still pressure on this bishop. And your opponent is very far from developing. He'd have to make one move, two moves, three moves, four moves, maybe, maybe five moves before he can connect his rooks. Um, and his rooks can see one another versus you're much closer. You might need to make like, um, let's see, one, two, three moves. And then you can, on the fourth move, you can connect your rook. So you're both actually pretty far from developing because he grabbed the g7 pawn. But let's go ahead and see what happens. You played queen to the center, king to the center of the board. Um, yeah, I don't like this move so much because it exposes your king and it could be left vulnerable. So he went ahead and grabbed another pawn over here. Uh, you attacked his bishop and he's playing more and more pawn moves. So it seems like your opponent doesn't understand that the goal of the opening is to 
develop his pieces in castle as soon as possible. And he's making way too many queen and pawn moves, which is a common mistake that beginners make. Uh, and the best way to exploit this is to just not make the same mistake as them. Like you see that he's doing that, you just ignore it and basically quickly develop your pieces and then coordinate attack with all of your pieces. Attacking one piece like the bishop that was here on c4 with just your knight is not so effective. But if you can get all your pieces into the game and attack your opponent only afterwards and be more patient, you'll be more successful in your attack. So I know you were winning this game later on and lost on time. I looked at it very quickly, but I just wanted to get those main points in the opening. One, the tricky move of queen to h5 should be met with knight c6. You didn't do that, but okay, now you have a lead in development. Go ahead and castle here. Don't play knight c6. And okay, you played knight c6. Your opponent went to queen g3. Queen g3, ask him the purpose, ask yourself, what is the purpose of that move? Why did my opponent did, do that? And the main reason he could have done that was one, to attack this pawn. And maybe it could also be in the future he wanted to play a tricky move like bishop to h6, attacking this g7 pawn. But you shouldn't leave your pawn hanging when they're being attacked. As you saw later in the game, that piece got taken. And even here, don't move the same piece twice in the opening. Finish your development. Uh, connect your rooks. And only then, after your, your rooks can see one another, only then should you start going after your opponent's pieces, attacking them, and looking for tactics. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Scruff McG, rated 1295. And I hope you do well in the rest of this tournament. And I uh, hope you learned something from this game.